Once upon a time, there were four young boys, Cameron, Jordan, Connor, and Nick. Shula Palooza Film Festival was just around the corner, and the boys were at a loss for ideas. After many hours of deep contemplation, Cameron was struck with an idea. So the boys headed to the pawn shop in search of inspiration. They went up and down every aisle, but still nothing tickled their fancy. As they woefully departed from the store, they came across the eccentric store clerk holding a brand new iPod. Nick, being the sly dog that he is, quickly devised a scheme to steal the iPod. Once they were safely out of the store, Nick pulled out their new possession. The boys were in awe and couldn't wait to explore their new iPod. But little did they know, the store clerk's iPod withheld a powerful curse, which would take them on adventures beyond their imagination. This thing's sweet. Yeah, you scored. <laughs> Dude, I'm so glad I jacked that stupid old dude. Check it out. You guys are weird. Though. Yeah, that guy was so weird. But it won't get out of the movies playlist. No, you're doing it wrong. My nana's got one. You gotta. Your who? My grandma. Oh, your yeah. nana. Yeah. Oh, Alright. Wait, look at that. It keeps going straight to videos. You're telling me you jacked a broken iPod? <laughs> That's gonna, on you. Come I'm gonna go watch MASH. Yeah, let's go watch MASH. <laughs> Where'd you go, psycho boy? I wanted like to destroy, destroy something beautiful. What? The... Oh my. Oh. oh, okay. Just a dream. Alright. Oh, yeah. Felt so real. Jay, what happened to you, dude? Dude, I don't want to talk about it, but I don't want that thing anywhere near me, okay? 
Dude, chill out. Check it out. It really has some cool movies on it. Look, this is the James Bond scene where he gets tortured. No, they cut out the bottom of the seat and sit him down. They swing this rope really hard on his nuts. He gets racked so hard. It's sick. Get, get Check it out. Dude, come on. Look. This scene is epic. You don't appreciate good media. Yeah, I'm watching myself. This scene's so sweet. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine how much pain this was caused. Oh, here we go. It cuts out the bottom of the seat. Listen, Mr. Bond, I'm not interested in your aliases. I just want my password. All I need is my money. I don't know what money you're talking about. I don't have your money. I've seen the scene. Okay. I don't want it to keep going. Please stop, please. Just yeah. don't keep going. I don't get what it is with people and their fancy torture methods. It's quite a simple matter just to give a man more than he can stand. It's only a matter of time, Mr. Bond, before I have the account number. All I need from you is to give in and give me the password. It's very simple. It's very, very simple. <sighs> I told you! I don't know any password! I would tell you if I knew it! I don't know any password, I swear! <clears throat> Ow. Okay. You wanna play your stupid little movie? I'll be Bond. I can be Bond. I got an itch down there to the right. You're very funny, Mr. Bond. The only way I'm getting out of this iPod is if I finish the scene. And I guess what? I've seen your stupid little movie. You die. I die? I die? Oh, Mr. Bond, you are so wrong! <laughs> You haven't seen the movie! I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Bond, but <laughs> I'm about through with your stupid games. This needs to end. <laughs> <sighs> the words of my good friend, Mr. Bond. The whole world is gonna know you died scratching my- oh! <sighs> Your scene is almost done. Your time is almost out. I don't wanna be out of this iPod. And you're gonna end up on the floor with a hole in your head. I'll get the money. Tell them I'll, I'll get the money. Money isn't as valuable to our organization as knowing who to trust. <laughs> 